Hi, today I'm going to talk about basic meditation techniques. Meditation is a form of active prayer, positive affirmation, combined with mental and emotional cleansing and clearing and reprogramming. Meditation is one way that we can connect to the divine by whether, whatever you call the divine to you, Muhammad, Buddha, angels, whatever you call it, God. Whilst we are connected and in this meditation state, we can clear out old patterns of behavior and current negative thoughts or oppressions or demons or fears or whatever they are, which are no longer useful to us, and lay new patterns which will help us in our lives. So meditation is a powerful positive message to the subconscious mind. Um, basic steps on how to meditate. I'm going to give you four basic steps. Very simple basic meditation steps. First one, create a safe, relaxing environment. You must have an environment that no one will interrupt you for about 15 to 20 minutes. You might have candles, soft music. Um, you might try sitting or lying down. I find sitting better than lying down because lying down... I want to go to sleep, you know, hmm, after a hard day. But at any rate, uh, so I find sitting with your spine as straight as possible so that all the neural networks and the chakras are unrestrained. Make sure your clothes are, are loose and comfortable um, and soft, nothing itching you or scratching you or bothering you. Okay, that's step one. Step two, remember we're keeping a very basic, simple meditation techniques here. Relax using slow deep breathing techniques. There's lots of different deep breathing techniques that we can train you and teach you on. I'm not going to go into those in details now because this is just a short brief um, video. But concentrate on breathing deeply from your tummy all the way up and down. And slow deep breaths. Let all your muscles relax and stop what we call the chattering monkey that goes on in your head. So calm yourself down. Step three, create a safe haven for yourself through your meditation. So you need to find a place for yourself in your mind that is a safe meditative place where you go and feel in your mind, you're not physically going there, you're staying in your safe room that we set up in um, step one. To a place that is safe for you. It might be the top of a hill, it might be floating on the ocean, it might be sitting in a meadow of grass or of flowers or next to a waterfall or whatever. It normally uses one of the elements of nature and it involves nature because the elements do help us relax as well. Try and experience a safe of this place of safety with as many senses as possible. Smell the flowers, smell the sea, wherever you are. Feel the wind on you. Try and experience it as deeply as possible. Me personally, um, I like, love water and waterfalls. Uh, it depends on my mood where I go with my safe place. Sometimes I also like going and sitting around a fire with you know, red Indian kind of fire and guides. It's entirely up to you where you go. You must create your safe place. This place must be somewhere where you feel nothing can harm you. Nothing can hurt you. You're okay here. There's no fear here. And then the final step is step four. Guides, counselors, and, uh, guides, counselors and angels. So whatever you believe helps you. Uh, it's different with different religions, what you might call them. But at the end of the day, all religions are the same. And ask your guides, counselors, angels whatever you want to call them, to come in and guide you and sit with you and start building a relationship with them. And realize everyone has these. It's those little voices that we hear in our head sometimes that we sometimes block out and ignore, which is really nasty. But you must try and build a relationship with that and get better and better at hearing that little voice. And then eventually, even when you're not in a meditative state, you can still hear that voice on answering questions. You might see them, you might feel them, you might um, smell them, experience them in a different way. But try and build a relationship with them and sit calmly with them, build a relationship, tell them your problems, hear if there's any response. And in the beginning this feels difficult and you think, I'm completely nuts. Lost the cookie. 
don't worry, you haven't lost the cookie. You do have these guides, even if you don't think you do. And stay calm, build a relationship with them, and fake it till you make it. Just try. It does work. Thank you, and I wish you, I wish you luck. Practice these steps. You'll get better and better at it. If in the beginning it's hard, keep trying. I promise it gets better. Okay, thank you. It's Wendy Glenda Shuttleworth.